What's up everybody? Hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're gonna review the first book of the Chaos Walking Trilogy. I have to say this is my favorite trilogy by far because it's filled with adventure and action and packed with a lot of cliffhangers. So without further ado, let's begin with the knife of never letting go. So brace yourself for something you've probably never even heard and it's really weird. Basically, people have been looking for a planet to live on since their old planet called Old World Obvious. got destroyed and now they find the perfect planet to live on called New World. Obvious. But they find out that something is wrong right off the bat. Obvious. The problem was that everybody could hear everybody else's thoughts and that's just the beginning of it. Only the men could hear each other's thoughts, the women were immune. Now they have these weird aliens already inhabiting this planet. So they all made a peace treaty as long as each of the species don't cross each other's ways. And for a long time it has been peaceful but then there was a speckled war. Unfortunately for the Spackle, all of them were eliminated and for a long time it was believed that they were extinct. And now the virus of hearing each other's thoughts, which they called the noise, had reached so high that it affected the animals and they could talk, ranked off by their intelligence. And then a town was formed called New Prentice Town. And then the character that we will follow throughout this journey, named Todd Hewitt, was born and then out of nowhere Mayor Prentice orders all of the women to be killed. And then Todd's father died and before he died he asked his friends Ben and Killian to take care of Todd. And then back to present day. Todd is picking apples for Ben with his dog Manchi and it's so noisy with all the birds talking and everywhere it's so loud and then out of the blue he hears something impossible nothing <gasps> he tries to ignore it and then he walks back home when he reaches Killian is standing there and then he starts to get worried because Manchi starts saying quiet 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 Todd keeps asking where Ben is and he's tending to the sheep when Todd goes and fills Ben in about the nothingness, Ben says two words, it's time. Now these are all the lies that were told to Todd. The first lie is that there is no other town besides New Prentice Town and that there is nothing, nothing outside the borders of the swamp. The second lie is that there is no existing female on this planet and the third lie is Remember when I said that Mayor Prentice ordered to kill all women? Well, he framed the noise for it. He said that the noise, that the virus killed all women. All in a nutshell, Todd has to go to this safe place called Heaven and Mayor Prentice and his whole army is coming to kill him because he was not supposed to hear nothing. And now there is this crazy priest who is after him named Aaron and he is trying to get him to kill him because Todd is not supposed to kill anyone. You're not a killer Todd. It's just not in your blood. As you can see, I'm a really big fan of the author of this book, Patrick Ness. I've also read a lot of his other books like More Than This and A Monster Calls and the rest of the trilogy. He's such an extraordinary writer and all of his novels are adventure packed and they're really amazing and I really love them. I would rate this book a 4.5 out of a 5. Don't forget to go hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell and drop a like please. The fact of the day is 4 babies are born every second. Goodbye. That's the end of the war.